everybody, James Nair. I just wanted to uh, show you how Nauru deals with the passengers in regards to this COVID-19 that's uh, around the world. And I just wanted to, you know, obviously reassure the public and also our denaros of the process that happens when passengers land here. So I'm here at the airport, just going to go through how they deal with it and also, you know, share a testimonial about what they do over in Australia before they even get here. So this is how they process it before they even get through the gates. Okay, so a lot of us expats or a lot of the passengers who have just landed, you know, obviously this is the tarmac and what they do is then they walk towards the entrance and just before they get into the main entrance, they would have been handed over health cards on the plane. And what happens is in this area here, which normally would be a tent, you would hand over the cards to the, obviously, public health members or the workers. They then check the health card before you walk into the uh, main building. We also will have a ambulance which would be parked up here, you know, for anyone who has any symptoms of the COVID-19. And from there, you would enter into the building. And once you enter into the building, there will be, you know, thermal scanners here, you know, um, at, at this station, which is amazing. You would have the health workers, they would be normally standing here and they would be taking your temperature. So then you would walk normally, you know, obviously they want to keep everything um, as normal as possible. You would then get to the yellow line, uh, which we would normally stand in. They will then call you. Um, as they call you, you go to the booth, which is that one there. And you would have to obviously stand behind this yellow line. And once um, they call you, you would then grab your documents. You would hand it over here and you would leave it there and then you would step back you know obviously to keep that 1.5 meters and if you have a look at some of the labeling that's around please stand behind the yellow line until you are called so obviously you know this is about keeping safe and also about the distancing so once you get the document back obviously you would grab it back and then you would make your way over to the baggage All right, so we're here at the baggage, and once again, there are these signs here that say stand behind the yellow line until you are called. Uh, what happens is all the luggage and all your belongings will come and they will sit along of this benches. They will then clear all of the baggage staff and they would have to go outside. What happens then is then you collect all of your luggage once everyone is clear. It then goes over to this part so you would get to this area and you know normally this is where customs and quarantine will stand so they will stand over that side you will still be behind the yellow line they then would ask you to place your bag onto the bench which i will show you then they would take it they will then take it um, you know obviously they will spray it uh, with a, a substance that they use for any sort of infections or any, um, you know, any viruses that may be on it. Uh, once they are happy with that, it then goes across to Customs. Customs obviously checks your card to find out if you've got any food. Um, and if they're happy with that, then you uh, grab your bag. They will slide it back over. You grab your bag and you start walking towards the exit. So once you finish picking up all of your gear, you will then walk out. This whole area will be cordoned off. Um, you would then make your way out to the other door, which is out this way. And so I'll just take you. You will then exit this door and you'll be loaded onto the buses that would be awaiting here um, and that's part of the process. All the buses have been sterilized and all of that stuff. So your luggage and all of that stuff will go onto these buses. And once again, it's just keeping the group together. It's keeping everyone isolated, uh, you know, accommodated, what they call tran transitional accommodation. So that's basically the whole process in terms of keeping Nauru safe, in terms of 
um, you know, minimizing as much people together as possible. So that's one, for me, that's one of the best uh, Pacific processes that I've heard of and I've, I'll even read you one of the testimonials from one of our expats in regards to that. So, you know, I'm happy with the process in terms of that uh, keeping the corona, if any corona, um, comes in, but it's an absolutely fantastic process and it's really, really safe. So, you know, to the government in Nauru and also to Aviation, to Bakar for all of the hard work that you're doing. Um, and for also keeping all of our Pacific safe. I just wanted to share this testimonial from one of our expats who landed last week um, in regards to the process and how he felt about the process. Uh, he says that it's probably one of the best processes in uh, the Pacific uh, just from his experience flying you know, from Australia to Nauru. So this is what he says. Acknowledgement and thanks for the government in Nauru regarding processes to monitor incoming flights to Nauru from the COVID-19 virus. Upon check-in to the Air Nauru gate at Brisbane International Airport, we were asked by staff who had the appropriate attire, face masks, to greet me, that requested to take my temperature and share with me that it was normal range for an adult temperature to be at 36.2 degrees. Staff proceeded to hand me two forms, one to complete on my current health check and want to advise of the processes that will take place once I arrived in Nauru. Once aboard the plane, staff proceeded to greet us and tend to our needs. After lunch, staff undertook another reading of my temperature, which was 36.3, and advised that again it was a normal temp for an adult. Upon arrival, staff at the terminal checked our health forms and I underwent a final temperature reading at 36.3. Upon clearing customs, staff requested my bags checked my incoming card where my bags were streamlined with spray. I proceeded through the custom doors where signs were visible and clearly stated where to go. I was greeted by two staff who requested that I put my bags into the vehicle trailer, then boarded the bus. I was transported to uh, the location where I am isolated, where my bags were offloaded. I was then advised that once I disembarked, that an envelope with my key and information of my stay regarding self-isolation for 14 days, and went through the rules and regulations, meal times and visiting times. Traveling on route during this precarious time can be very stressful. However, the stress was minimized knowing that the above processes were put in place to protect Nauru and the community. I thank you and acknowledge the robust professional way in which Nauru continues to manage the global pandemic of coronavirus. So that's one testimonial from one of our expats who came through last week on the plane and he was saying what an amazing sort of experience because what he was saying in particular with Australia is you know they don't probably have the same processes as we do here in Nauru so I would say that's probably one of the best processes across the Pacific and also thank you to the government thank you to the aviation the airport and all of the staff that are involved police public health um, immigration customs baggage all of the people that are involved you know i'm not here for any political gain or i'm not here to give any political messages all i'm here is to state the truth and the fact that without all of these processes we would probably be already with coronavirus so tubakar uh, to all of the departments that are involved in this Dubakar for the airlines from Brisbane right through to Nauru, absolutely fantastic. And we are still sitting at zero while the world keeps on going with all of the different deaths and with all of the uh, coronavirus going around everywhere. Just remember, uh, De Naros, that we are in probably one of the safest places and that the processes of you know, keeping the coronavirus out is absolutely fantastic. I believe in the system. I've seen the system. I've sat down, you know, with um, the aviation people here, and they, you know, obviously believe in the whole process too. So yeah, deba.
And they're setting across the blue And now 